Hey everyone! Today, I'm going to show you a few quick and simple methods to automatically log into Windows without needing to type in your password every time. This can save you time, especially if you're the only one using your PC and want instant access. But remember, skipping the password screen may not be ideal for everyone, especially if security is a priority. So, first method is through the Windows settings. This is a simple and straightforward method if you're already logged in. Click on the Start menu. Then go to Settings. Next, select Accounts. Then go to the Sign In Options tab. Under Password, click on Change. Enter your current password and leave the new password fields blank. Click Next. And then Finish to remove the password. Now, you can log in without entering a password. Next, let's look at how to remove the password using a tool called NetPLWIS. It's quick and efficient if you prefer a command-based approach. First, let's go over the main settings. In Windows 10 or 11, start by pressing Windows plus I on your keyboard to open settings. Now, go to Accounts, then click on Sign-in Options. Under Require Sign-in, make sure it's set to Never. This won't remove the password completely, but it's an important setting to enable automatic login. So, first off what we want to do here is, open the Registry Editor by pressing Windows plus R, typing RegEdit, and hit Enter. Now navigate to this location that you can see on the screen. So we're going to go H key local machine. Then we're going to go to software. Then head down to where it says Microsoft here. Once we hit Microsoft, open this up and then navigate down to Windows NT. Once we find Windows NT, we're going to click on this one. Open this up as well and you should see current version. Click on this one and open it up. Once we go here, what we're going to do is going to come all the way down to where it says passwordless. And there it is right there. Open this up. You should see device. This is the device that we're using. So what we're going to do is open this up here. And you should see here device passwordless build version. And it says two. Open this box up, click on it. And we need to change the value from two to zero. So go ahead and highlight it and just change it to zero here. And then we can apply this. And what this will do is it will basically tell the machine to ignore the password here. So I'm going to click OK here, and we've changed that value. So, close off the registry editor here. And you will need to restart the PC. Now it's not set up just yet. You will still get the password, but I'll show you after this step. So we need to reboot the PC. And once we get back to the login screen, put your password in for the very last time. Next, we'll use a quick tool called NetPLWIS. Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type NetPLWIS and hit Enter. This will open the User Accounts panel. In this window, you'll see a list of all the users on your computer. Find your username, then uncheck the box next to Users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Once you've done that, click Apply. A new window will pop up asking for your current password. Enter it. Confirm it. And hit OK. Now, when you restart your computer, it should log in automatically without asking for a password. Our final method is using the computer management tool, which allows you to manage various aspects of your system, including user accounts. Right click on the start button and select computer management. In the computer management window, expand local users and groups from the left panel. Then click on users. Here, locate your username from the list. Right click on it and select set password. You'll see a warning message about resetting the password. Click Proceed to continue. In the new password fields, 
Leave both fields blank to remove the password. Then click OK. Your password is now removed, and you can log into Windows without entering one. Before you go, a quick reminder. Skipping the login screen can make it easier for anyone to access your computer if they have physical access to it. If you're worried about security, consider using a PIN or biometric option instead. And that's it. Now you know how to automatically log into Windows without a password. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. See you in the next video.